Notre Dame finishes the year 9-4. and four. Tommy Reese went over 3,000 yards for the season in this game and also finishes his career third all-time in passing yards in Notre Dame history. Zach Martin was named MVP of the game, leading a dominant offense in his 52nd and final start on the offensive line. Stephon Tuitt had one and a half sacks in what might or might not have been his last game for Notre Dame. Brian Kelly said after the game, Tuitt would decide soon whether or not he's leaving for the NFL. Meanwhile, the senior class finishes with 37 wins over their four years, the most since the class of 1994 also won 37. Sports director Pete Byrne was there for all of it today and has this report from New York City. In many ways, the pinstripe bowl earlier today at Yankee Stadium was a game indicative of Notre Dame's entire 2013 season. A game in which the Irish showed talent and had opportunity, but too often lacked execution, putting them in situations where the game was up for grabs in the final minutes. After the game was over and won, I asked Brian Kelly how he will remember 2013, and he answered me very blunt. He said it was good, but not good enough. A good year that could have been a great year. Um, you know, uh, so, some really good victories at home against USC. You know, I like the fact that, uh, you know, over the last couple of years we've played well at home, except for the Oklahoma game where we you know, we gave we gave him 14 points early. You know, on some, you know, you know, really some things that we don't normally do. Uh, but I would say a couple of missed opportunities in, in some games where you know we very easily could have been a you know a team that that's looking at double digit wins, and and that's where we want to be every year. So a good year, um, but we want more. You know, it's not enough for us. Uh, nine and four is a good year for Notre Dame. It's not, it's not what we sign up for every year. Uh, we wanted a little bit more out of this year. I agree with him 100%. You know, um, we had our ups and downs and um, didn't take advantage of some opportunities. But, um, you know, the best part of this team is they're, they're you know, a team of fighters and a team that, uh, you know, if you watch the tape, even the games we lost, we, we were fighting to the end, which is great. Um, so, you know, we got this thing going in the right direction. And a few plays here and a few, few plays there, you never know. But, uh, you know, looking forward to watching these guys next season. I think it was just, you know, resiliency and just sticking together. Um, there's a few games that we thought we could, you know, we could have won. But, you know, after those games, we just battled back and we stuck together as a brotherhood. Regardless of what was or wasn't accomplished by Notre Dame in 2013, images of the outgoing senior class, guys like Tommy Reese, and Zach Martin, and Bennett Jackson, walking off the field for a final time in their Irish uniforms, say far more than words ever could. A win is a win, and a very great way to end careers for what has turned out to be a very successful Notre Dame football senior class. Reporting from the Pinstripe Bowl in the Bronx at Yankee Stadium, I'm Pete Byrne, WSBT Channel 22 Sports. One other note, Brian Kelly said after the game he has his new defensive coordinator, the replacement for Bob Diaco, but could not release the name at this point. Multiple reports out tonight say that man is Brian Van Gorder, the New York Jets linebackers coach. Kelly and Van Gorder were on the staff together at Grand Valley State back in 1989 to 91.